So for the past two months, I am just using the Ricoh GR3 and this was a new addition in my camera bag but turns out this is the only camera left now in my camera bag because I've been using this camera a lot. There's a lot of good things about this camera and there's a lot of not so good things about this camera which we're going to talk about in this video and if somebody is uh, actually considering this camera to buy uh, this would be a good video to decide if this camera is for you or not and with that let's begin the video so let's start with the things i like about this camera the most and on top of the list uh, is the size i mean this is a small camera a point it looks like a point and shoot camera so yeah and rico did a really great job in packing a aps sensor in this camera body which makes this a great combo to do your street photography because you don't need heavy gear with you and just a quick camera to just take out of your pocket and click pictures and keep it inside for that purpose this is an amazing camera and yeah with with a compact size there is a lot of disadvantages also and after using it for two months straight two months uh, and ditching my fuji i felt that those disadvantages actually don't overshadow the fact that this is a great camera packed in a very small body and yeah what else do you need it's like a dream camera so yeah on sizing it gets a 10 on 10 so talking about the image quality of Ricoh GR3 I feel this 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor uh, didn't disappoint this produces great images with sharpness with detail lovely colors and and i've always thought that fuji was the only camera in the market which produces such great colors but rico is catching up and i feel this also produces great colors with the help of recipes i mostly use uh, all my jpegs but if you're somebody who wants to edit raw the images hold great details in highlight and shadows so if you want to recover something won't be a problem so 10 out of 10 for the image quality from the sensor also there is a link in my description where you can find some sample images which i clicked on rico gr3 if you're somebody who loves to edit you might download them and edit them and if you want me to see tag me on instagram at ayushk9 where if i like your edit i can give you a shout out on my stories moving on to the third point so the next thing I want to talk about is the recipes in this camera. So I majorly use my Fuji for photos and the only reason why I love Fuji is its recipes because it has some built in recipes and obviously I can tweak some colors depending upon my liking and that I feel uh, should be a feature in every camera but sadly it's not. So. Uh, thanks uh, Rico for having these recipes this makes the whole photography process more fun and this makes it much more interesting because you have the final desired colors uh, which you want in an image straight out of the camera and I feel that helps me to shoot more and more because I don't have to edit my pictures uh, very intensely I can do a bit of basic contrast and exposure and my image is good to go so yeah recipes are one of the thing which I like about this camera a lot so the next thing which I want to talk about is the build quality of this camera now when I got this camera the first day when I got out of my car it was on my lap and it slipped and thankfully it didn't get any scratches and was okay uh, working good so i feel it's a durable camera and after using it for like two months in every scenario possible it lasted pretty great it doesn't have any scratches there's one scratch um, but i don't know how it came and it's scrapped off the black paint but other than that the camera has holded uh, nicely but there's a problem which i don't like is the sensor moving inside the body i mean listen to this so the sensor completely moves here and there because of the image stabilization 
and sometimes that feeling of the sensor moving inside the camera doesn't feel good and that makes this camera a little more delicate to use sometimes you unconsciously feel like this might break inside the camera so that's one issue which i don't like about the build quality of the rico gr3 other than that i feel it's a good solid body to use so talking about the biggest issue about the Ricoh GR3 which is the dust issue so there is a possibility of dust getting inside your camera and over the sensor which most people are saying about but for me India is a very dusty place and if this camera has survived the conditions I uh, took uh, it through I feel this won't be an issue and obviously I saw some hacks where you can just cover the front microphone with tape and the speaker grill with tape which might help your camera from dust and for me I feel it it has lasted great I don't see any dust but the only problem is when there's an outer ring uh, this traps a lot of dust that's a whole issue but I don't think so this is connected from the inside and this might not harm your camera in any which way so yeah dust issue is not that big of a problem but the thing i don't like about this camera is its display it's a low quality display and i feel rico could have done a great job uh, with the price point this camera comes at there could be a high res display in the camera which would make the viewing uh, process much more nicer but it's also not a deal breaker so it's a okay okay display to go with the camera so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the battery life of this camera i feel uh, the battery life is great according to the size it has a 13 50 mAh battery and that will last you uh, whole day if you are a casual shooter but if you are shooting a lot then you might need one extra battery or if you have a power bank you can directly charge with the USB-C port on the camera which is a good thing so you don't need to buy extra batteries which I feel are pretty costly but I'll drop down a link down below in the description where I got a third party battery which is quite cheap and you can buy if you have this camera so battery life according to me is decent and yeah you can't expect much more than this uh, in such a small camera also one more thing this camera is photo first camera it uh, might have a video feature in it but the video quality straight out of this camera is completely trash you can't use that if you're thinking if you want to use this camera for videos this camera is not for that it's only for photos so if you're somebody who wants video also there are many more options in the market but this camera is specifically for photos so i think i've covered everything about this camera so there's one feature which I forgot uh, and I feel that's a great feature to have in a camera and every camera manufacturer should have this feature is internal storage. So this camera has a 2 GB of internal storage in it and I feel this is a great feature because I sometimes leave my SD card in the laptop while editing and this feature comes really handy and is a savior at that time back to the video now the main question comes who is this camera for is it for you so before answering that let me tell you the price of this camera this camera costs 85,000 rupees in india and it's not cheap and in this price bracket there are many more options which are uh, capable more than this camera but this camera has a very specific use to it this camera is not for everyone and if you are somebody who needs a small body great sensor a camera that you take everywhere a camera that helps you capture the daily life around you and a camera you won't be worrying about that much then this is the camera for you and for me also i needed a camera 
which I can take it anywhere I go. And this, I think, fulfilled that without compromising on the image quality. And that's all for this video. If you like the video, drop a like. If you have any other questions which you want me to answer, please drop down a comment. Feel free. Yeah, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.